Charles Stroke. 17, Alex Higgins. Four, Terry Griffiths. Well, with the balls spread so widely, Griffiths will be quite pleased, I'm sure, that Higgins only scored 17 there. One. Yes, uh, that was a good opening there from Higgins, but he just kept running that little bit out of position. And now the, the balls are very well placed. I think that uh, Griffiths has got a choice of two reds there into the corner pocket and still retain position on the black. Nine. Particularly important frame this for Griffiths. If he can win it, he'll only be one behind. If he loses it, he'll be three down with four to play. Sixteen. Well, this uh, red that he's looking at now could be a key red if he can get it and just free the other reds. Obviously, it's not quite right. But um, seventeen. I wouldn't think that he should. He would run himself into any trouble now with one or two reds open. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. Well, that's uh, not so good. The angle that uh, Griffith has left himself on the pink, difficult to get back on the reds. He's given himself a good chance in the centre pocket, but uh, would have liked to have been in position to have got on those reds into the corner pocket, which would have been very much easier. Always that slight risk from a shot like this. Forty. Higgins retiring to his seat, not expecting another shot this frame. Forty-eight. Higgins already 32 points mm. behind, so Griffiths uh, with this frame already sewn up. Fifty-five. Fifty-seven. Highest break of the match so far, beating Higgins is fifty-four in the opening frame. Sixty. <coughs> Sixty-four.
75. Eighty-two and Prim is very lucky. A bit of a crisis in the middle of the break, but uh, otherwise very smooth indeed. An eighty-two clearance by Terry Griffiths. He pulls up to one frame behind at two-three.